Hey guys, Chris Lord back at the job. This is a completion video. Uh, one of my last videos, it was a helical tie install. I went through the ins and outs of that process. It's an alternative to star bolts. And here we are wrapping it up. Now, customer threw me a curveball while we were getting right, when we were about ready to drive. Well, he said, he asked for shiplap. Uh, so I said, yeah, we could do shiplap. So here it is, here's the finished product. And there you go. Now, this is an old row home in Philadelphia. Nothing is level in these houses. You'll see I had to adjust the baseboard here. I had to drop it by ripping the bottom in order to lower this side because originally you could see where the old baseboard line was. You could see the drywall. And if that was, if I would have followed that, then you can see the shiplap is installed level. My baseboard would have went on a hard angle like that. We can't have that. So you got two options. You can either, I could either raise it on that side and then I would have had to get one by tens, rip them down, replace all the baseboard in this room an additional cost to the customer. Or we can just drop this one real fast, cut the bottom, drop it down, get a consistent reveal on that shiplap line and we're done. Now, these windows were already installed and done. We didn't touch them. Uh, they're level, but they're not plumb. Levels this way, plumbs that way. And I mean, they operate fine. I'm not knocking the window guy. I mean, they're, they're totally fine. The reason why he installed them that way is because this brick facade has had a bow in it for probably 20, 30, maybe even 40 years. We're just getting to addressing it. And at one point or another, these windows were replaced and he chose to install the windows to have a consistent reveal on the outside. What I mean by reveal is how much of the brick do you see around the window after it's installed, which means you want a consistent amount. Like see how this jam, when I say jam, I mean this, it looks crooked. It's six inches at the top to about eight inches at the bottom. That's because of the way the window was installed. And I mean, they're, they're installed, they're capped, uh, you know, we're not touching them. So all we can do is just do a nice scribe cut, just get nice and tight and then go from there. And I mean, when, you know, this is all kind of, this is these kind of things with the baseboard, the window jam. I mean, we deal with this stuff all day working in old Philly run homes. So, you know, you got to pick your battle sometimes. You know, I love for everything to be level, plumb, square. But sometimes, you know, especially in these old homes that nothing's square, nothing's level, nothing's plumb about them. You know, you got to make it look, uh, you just have to make it look that way. So sometimes you can fool the eye into making you think something's level, whether it's not. And at the end of the day, that's what counts. I mean, obviously function is 100% means just as much as aesthetics, but if it don't look right, I mean, it, it's gotta look right and it's gotta function right. So sometimes, you know, there's little tricks that you just have to make it look right. As long as it's functioning, then you're good. So these are things that, you know, you, you deal with in these old row homes. And, you know, sometimes you you rack your brain figure, you know, trying to come up with solutions, but you know, this is just what it is and uh we didn't paint here a uh, customer is going to diy it they want to save uh, some money and i'm all for that it allows me to leave and go to the next one and uh that's it so i'm going to sign off uh if you like this video please press like subscribe to the channel it's very much appreciated and i'll see you on the next one got a lot of nice jobs coming up that i'm going to be posting a lot of interesting things that you know you don't see every day not your average cookie cutter stuff so i hope you'll tune in and check it out